Hello everyone, this is Leo from MCSoft. Today we'll be doing a full walkthrough of MCSoft Business Security going through the experience as a brand new user. So let's get started right at the website. Once you click on for business, you get the option to sign up for a free 30 day trial. That's what I'll be using for the demo today. Once we select that, we can sign up for a brand new account. Now that I've filled in my details, I just have to agree with the privacy policy, which I suggest you take a look at. Once we're good with that, we can just click on sign up and we're almost done. I just have to check my email and then we can log in directly to my MCSoft. All accounts by default use two-factor authentication, so we'll have to enter a security code that was again sent to the email. This is what the email should look like and here is our code. We are invited to create a workspace. Now you can of course name this as you like. I'm just gonna call it Leo Office. And now we're ready to go. As you can see on the home screen, we have a brief overview of protection alerts. So if there are any malware detections, they will pop up over here. And we also have classifications depending on whether the malware was caught by surf protection, the fall guard, the behavior blocker, or the scanner. You can also see recent findings in a different view here, but right now we don't have any devices on which we're actually running MCSoft, so let's fix that. Let's get started with a brand new device. Now, as you can see, the moment I open the workspace, we get this pop-up. It says you can add your device. You can log in on the system that you want to install MCSoft, or you can get the instructions by email. I'll just go ahead and click on the download button. And as you can see, it's a really small installer, only 2.1 megabytes. So we'll just go ahead and run it. And now it's going to download and install the software on this particular system. If you already have MCSoft anti-malware installed on certain devices and you want to add them to the workspace, you don't necessarily have to go through the entire process. You just need to run the same tiny 2.1 megabyte installer and they should show up in your workspace a minute later. But of course, on this system, we're installing the product for the first time. And there you go, now MCSoft is installed. Once again, we need to accept the license and maintenance agreement. Once we're done with that, it is going to automatically initialize an update and then this computer will be fully protected. As you can see in the home screen, we have the workspace. So it tells us which workspace is managing this particular installation. Woohoo, we're up to date and now this computer is protected. We also added a new network lockdown feature recently. This is going to shut down all network communication in case you're under attack, except the network usage by the anti-malware. So we'll still be able to update, communicate with the cloud, but it will not allow, let's say, malware or any other program to access the internet. To initiate that, all you have to do is click on network lockdown and it's pretty much instantaneous. When you want to disable it, just click again and it's done. Now we're gonna go back to the cloud console and I'll show you a quick comparison of what that looks like as compared to the actual product interface. As you can see, we've already got this desktop showing up under manage devices. We've got the protection alerts. It shows us when the last update was, when the last scan was, last alert, all the relevant details right on the home screen. If you have multiple devices, they're all gonna show up in a list here. And you're of course, obviously going to get protection alerts for all of them. We've also got a view of quarantine here so we can see things directly. But if we go ahead and click on the computer itself, we've got the full client side interface accessible remotely. So as you can see, it looks exactly the same. This is the online interface and this is the actual product. So doing anything remotely is really intuitive. So for example, if we just want to go ahead and do a scan, you can just click on this and let's go ahead and do a malware scan. The scan's done and as you can see, in order to make this interesting, I did sneakily put a WannaCry ransomware executable in our downloads folder, and now it's been detected. Once again, we have all the features in the cloud console, so we can select this particular detection. We can decide to quarantine or delete it. I'll just go ahead and quarantine. And now if we go back to our workspace, and as you can see, we've got this one detection from the scanner, and it tells us that the last scan was a minute ago. If we scroll down, 
we've got more details. So we've got one scan detection on this particular system. By the way, this is the system name. So if you've got systems named a particular way in your enterprise, it's going to follow that. It's just using the computer name. And over here, it tells us the file name. And if we click on details, it's going to give us a log report with the exact time. We can also go into quarantine. And again, we have full access so we can restore, delete, claim as false detection. All the features are there and it's exactly the same as on the actual client. Go into quarantine here. As you can see, it's the exact same thing. So what we've tried to accomplish with this product is make it completely seamless so that you can use the product on the system itself and switch to using it remotely, completely intuitively. There's no gap. There's no missing features, not a different layout that you have to get used to. It's completely seamless, but it's also quite powerful. So if we go into protection policies, as you can see, we've got different policy groups. We've got new computers, management, development, software. You can create as many groups or categories as you want. So if you've got a really large enterprise or business, you can create specific groups and use specific policies on them. So for example, if you've got a malware breakout in sales, <laughs> well, I do just like to pick on sales. You can go ahead and enable a complete emergency network lockdown. And as you can see, this is now active for sales. If we go back to new computers, no issues here, different settings. So we can turn on behavior blocker, turn it off for specific computers, same for file guard and it's highly customizable so you don't necessarily have to have it this way you can have groups based on location based on offices or also based on their purpose so you can have you know different settings for your servers different settings for production systems different settings for test systems and it's all accessible at a glance now, if we go into permission policies, we can also have different levels of access for different types of users. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can invite a different user to the workspace. Now, let's say I'm the owner of the business and I just want to add some of my employees with limited access. We can totally do that. We just have to click on invite a user here. Now, once you fill in the details, you can decide to give them primary ownership of the entire workspace, or you can make them workspace admin or just protection manager. So a workspace admin can add or remove users, but a protection manager can just change the protection policies. So in this case, I'm gonna make it workspace admin and we'll send the invite. And once that's done, they will receive an email invitation and they can join your workspace. So there you have it. That's the MCSoft Cloud Console. We've been working on this for a long time, so I really hope you enjoy it. If you have any further questions, absolutely feel free to use the comments down below. Let us know what your thoughts are. We really want to hear your feedback on this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, for details, check out mcsoft.com. Like and share if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Leo, and I'll catch you in the next one.